What's up you guys and welcome to Andy's Playground. I'm your host as always Andy and joining me of course is Sierra today and today we're at Legoland for the holiday festival season here which is going on right now. This is really kind of unique because Legoland is now open at night for this event because you have some beautiful lights up ahead, some cool shows that are going on, and some cool characters that you get to meet during this time period as well. We're really excited to show you guys what all there is to do here during the holiday season, so let's go have some fun. So you guys already saw a little bit of this when I showed you guys, but check out the display here. Again, this is all Legos. And then we have two stilt walkers over here dressed up as toy soldiers. But take a look at all this stuff. This is really pretty stuff. All right, we're heading on down to Carousel. And straight ahead of us, the Carousel is going tonight because they're doing a special kind of, I'm just trying to read this, a Carousel holiday sing-along on the Carousel. So I'm curious to see what that's gonna be like. We'll have to check that out. This is one of the rides I actually work, so this will be fun. So it looks like there's a song that goes on and so you're supposed to sing along. Let us know, let us know, let us know. So just like Brick or Treat, they have shows here as well for the holiday season that are very unique. This is the one that'll be in the 40 theater. I'll show you some glimpses of that. Dear holiday helpers, Mr. Claus and I are attending the annual sleigh show today. While I'm gone, please bake some gingerbread and build the special gingerbread house for the elves. Don't forget the most important ingredient, a sprinkle of holiday magic. Toodaloo! Oh, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. 
What's a Christmas workshop without some Christmas lights? A little help from Spark and Twinkle. And of course all you VIPs. We can make this place look great. Here's a Christmas switch. Thank you. All set up here. All right, VIPs. This is where I need your help. Everyone, hands in the air. Let's count down from five. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. So we're actually back here on the next day because there were some things that I forgot to film last night that I didn't have time to just because it was a short time increment. I was hanging out with some friends, but I want to make sure I show you guys what else there is to do here during the Christmas season. Right now we're located in Miniland, one of my favorite places to come in Legoland. And there's some really cool surprises in every little scene here in Miniland. I'll show you what I mean. In each of these scenes, they have Santa Claus randomly. It's almost like a Where's Waldo kind of thing. So see how many times you guys can find Santa Claus during these holiday events. Right next to Lego Movie World, you're gonna have a little area where you can actually meet the holiday Unikitty. So she's gonna be meeting and greeting at various times throughout the day. Same thing as well with the little Lego Toy Soldier who's gonna be meeting over here. You can meet Lego Gingerbread Man over by the 4D Theater over here. And right across from Pizza and Pasta, which is still closed, you can meet Lego Santa right through there. I feel like Duplo Valley actually is going to have another scavenger hunt similar to Brick or Treat. During Brick or Treat they had a little scavenger hunt in Duplo Valley where if you found all the candy corns you would be able to win a special little prize. Because the same thing is going kind of on over here because at Duplo Valley you'll be able to see little Christmas things sprinkled throughout the park. Almost as if it's part of a scavenger hunt. Not to mention this place is covered in lights as well at night. It looks really really cool. Regrettably, I didn't have any time to show this last night, but right next to the carousel is the Holiday Village Postal Service where you can send a special letter to Santa Claus. We'll take a quick look in here just from what we can see from outside. But they have these cute little envelopes where you can actually write to Dear Lego Santa. And then it will send a live feed of your letter as it gets to Santa Claus, which is super, super cool. And they have a nice little model citizens in here or little elves who are going to be helping you write your letters and make sure you guys can do so in a very safe manner. Honestly, the whole thing looks super, super cute, and I'll have to try it when the holiday events are going on. During the holidays, you can also get some special treats at Granny Apple Fries, and I highly recommend you guys try them out because they're really, really good. One thing I forgot to mention is Legoland has this cool little countdown to Christmas that you guys can take pictures of, or take pictures with, I should say, right here near the front of the park. You can't miss it as you guys are walking in. Also, one last thing I forgot to mention was that the Christmas tree right here at the front of the park actually does have a little show that comes to life every now and then, it's something really cool to check out and especially of course to take pictures of. Also, I'm sure the question in everyone's mind is yes, that is 100% completely made of Legos. I saw them building it backstage. It's super, super cool, super, super big. They had to build it in sections of course, but it looks awesome. I also probably wanna restate uh, Legoland Florida's mask policy and safety policy. A lot of the rides you're gonna experience during the event time are still gonna be safe distance or social distance, I should say. And also, with their mask rule, they still haven't been enforcing that you must be wearing a mask every single time you're riding a ride, except for Battle of Bricksburg, because you're gonna get soaked on that ride, so you're allowed to take your mask off on that one. But when you're walking around, they leave it optional for you. If you ask my personal opinion, I think you guys should leave the mask on, just because it's still a theme park and it's still a pandemic, so be safe guys. Also, as far as I know, I should probably tell you that the holiday events are gonna be going on weekends, typically from no starting now in November through December. So make sure you guys come when the holiday event's going on. You guys can look it up on the Legoland website just to make sure when the dates are. Overall guys, Legoland Florida has a ton of stuff going on for the holiday events, so please do come check it out, especially on the weekends when they're doing stuff like that. It's really, really cool, especially because the park's open later, it's just a lot more fun. So make sure you guys come. And guys, honestly, I'm still really excited about working here. It's so much fun. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here and be able to still talk to you guys and tell you all what's going on here as well. But until next time, guys, I'll see you real soon.